Greetings folks, this is just going to be a very quick tutorial guiding you on how you can set up a control pad to work with Path of Exile. Now you're probably thinking, why on earth would you want to use a controller when you have a perfectly functioning mouse and keyboard? Now I personally have RSI, which is repetitive strain injury, makes it a little bit difficult for me to use a mouse and keyboard for any lengthy period of time. Some folks just to like you know, use control pads in their games, which is absolutely fine. So this tutorial is going to be of some use to you. Now, three things I just want to point out before we get started. Number one, I'm assuming you've got a control pad. So this is anything like an Xbox 360 controller, PlayStation, and maybe even a Steam controller, or even one that's not a brand that's commonly known. As long as your PC recognizes it, you'll be absolutely fine. Second thing to remember, you cannot bind every single shortcut command in path to the controller, but you can do things like, you know, all of your skills, your flasks, and a very few select menu commands to make life easier. So you will still be using a little bit of the keyboard, but the lion's share can be done with a control pad. Final thing to remember, you will experience some difficulties getting used to this because anything like such as a boss fight, things that require a bit more movement, uh, once you've got enough practice, you'll be fine. So starting from the top, we're going to begin with what we need to get the ball rolling. What we're going to be using is a software called Joy to Key. This is what allows you to bind your keyboard and mouse commands to your control pad. So all you have to do is go to joytokey.net, link is going to be in the description, click download, get the software. And what you're going to see after you open it is this. Now I have a few profiles, yours will be empty. But to make a new one you click file, then you click new, and give it a name. Path of Exile, POE, whatever. I'll call it POE test, and I've got a brand new profile and nothing here. Now, in my example, I'll be using an Xbox controller. I'll also compare it to the PlayStation in case you have that, as those are the most two common controllers that I'll be encountering. First thing we need to bind is the ability to move the mouse. So, to do that, if you've got your controller in hand and press rotate the left analog stick, you're gonna have this. Now, do bear in mind, my setup is not the best. You can fine tune yours. I'll just give, be giving you my example and it'll sort of nudge you in the right direction on where you have to go. So we're gonna start by getting up down, left and right done. So starting with up, you double click, you go into the mouse section. Now this slider controls the up and down motion. I would recommend setting it to about 45. So slide it up, because that's the up motion. Click OK. Hold down, so you know which one it is, is this one. Same as before, go to mouse. This is the up and down slider. Now we're gonna slide down, 45, OK. Now left and right. So left is this one here, double click mouse this controls the left and y axis so move this to 45 click ok hold right double click mouse and slide that to 45 what we've mastered now is the ability to move the pointer back and forth up and down and left and right that solves the pointer issue next thing is movement best thing to recommend for movement at least left click would be to use the a button for the xbox or the x button for the PlayStation. Now if you hold that button, that's button one, double click, go into mouse and select left click and then OK. When you return into path, move the cursor with the left analog stick, press your A button or X button and you can now move. This pretty much covers movement and that's step one out of the way. Next thing we need to get bound to the controller is the middle mouse button and the right click button. So the best way to do that, same as before, we're going to double click going to joy to key. So for middle mouse button I use the Y key for Xbox. For the PlayStation it would be the triangle button. So I'm tapping it now just so the software knows which one it is. So that's here. Double click, go into mouse and tick the wheel brackets middle button and OK. Then we're going to do the right click button which will be B for the Xbox controller and for the PlayStation it would be the circle key. So double click, mouse and right click. That's the dog outside barking, please ignore him. Not my dog, by the way, next door neighbors. So we're gonna quickly test these abilities. So first, we've got the rain of fire with right click. Or firestorm, I should be calling it. And then I can raise zombie with this. So that now covers, we've got left click, middle mouse button, right click, and the movement all sorted out. Next thing we're gonna be focusing on is our four abilities. Technically you can bind all five. I've got four, so I'll show you those next. So with regards to these abilities, the best thing I found to use was the D-pad. So the order I like to go is left, up, right, and down. So to do that, we're gonna open up Joy to Key. Just fiddle about with the D-pad so we know all the buttons are here. So we're gonna start with left first, double click, 
So on keyboard, it's bound to Q, so I will enter Q and click OK. Next up is Convocation, which is up. On the keyboard, it would be W, so I enter W. Right is next on the D-pad, which is Herald of Thunder, which is bound to E. And then lastly, we've got the down button, which is for the uh, Flame Elemental, um, which is bound to space. You'll likely have your own keybinds compared to my own. Now we've got all our skills bound. So, from the top, we've got movement, left click. We've got the uh, raising of the zombie, which is, of course, the middle mouse button. Firestorm, right click. So D-pad left, spell totem with my skeletons. Up, D-pad is convocation. Right, D-pad is my Herald of Thunder. And down is my elemental. This covers binding your abilities. Technically, I do have one more slot available, so if I wanted to, I could like pop that there and use the X button or the square button for the PlayStation and bind that there if I wanted to. So that would cover all of your skills. Next up, we're going to go over how to bind your flasks. With regards to flasks, not too difficult to do. You can actually use the shoulder buttons on your controller to do that. So first, we're going to bind one, two, three, and four. So much as like we did with the skills, we're going to start with flask number one, which I want to be bound to LB which for the PlayStation would be L1, double click, you press 1 because that's flask number 1, we're then going to go to RB or R1 for the PlayStation, Enter so double click and enter 2, third flask LT for Xbox, L2 for the PlayStation, yeah, enter 3, and the fourth flask is going to be RT which for the PlayStation would be R2, and we're going to enter the fourth flask. Flask 5 I'll leave up to you. In my case, I actually chose Select, which I know is an odd button, but because it's a little bit out of the way, it's, I'm, it's my emergency flask or something which I use on the fly. So either my Granite flask or, in this case, and my Quicksilver. So this is the Select button. Double click and enter 5, as that's my fifth flask. So now we've got flask number 1, flask number 2, flask number 3, 4, and 5. So we've got everything from movement to abilities to flasks bound. Final thing I'm going to cover it's a few things you might want for your menu. With regards to the menu, the one thing you're going to be opening up the most, for starters, is going to be the uh, inventory. So right now, by default, on the keyboard, it's bound to I. So all you've got to do is open up your joy to key. For the, key, the actual controller, it's up to you. I use start button, so that's a great way to reset. So that's my start button. Enter I, and that opens and closes this menu. And the final thing I like to open a lot is this minimap here, which on the keyboard is with tab. And what I use is I use the left analog stick, the click button. So with the left analog stick, you can press it downwards and it makes this little click sound that you can hear here. So most of you guys should be familiar with this, um, which is this one here, number nine. And I'm going to press tab. So I've got this and I've got that. I've got all my abilities and movements sorted. And that's pretty much it. Technically, the only two buttons that I still have available is the right analog stick, which hasn't been bound in any direction. So I could add more stuff to that if I wanted. I could bound, bind the up, down, left, right for more menus. I could even bind the click button to open up other stuff. Technically, I could do things like passive menu. And what else have we got? We got the atlas, um, a few of the other overlays. So it can be done. Almost all the buttons can be bound. And that pretty much covers it, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Any like technical bugs, those will be beyond the scope of my ability, but this is just meant to guide you in the right direction on how to get some of the binds done. I wish you the best of luck, and I'll see you guys in Rayclast. Peace out!